What's up, blockheads? We are in the Tacoma today, and uh, I'm going to be installing what they call a DMM, or a dash top multi-mount, from the Taco Garage. So I've been trying to figure out a way to basically mount my phone. I don't want it hanging off the windshield. You know, they've got a bunch of options that, um, those mounts that basically suction to the windshield. I don't want to do that just because, I mean, I, I hate having those little things on my windshield even, you know, the stickers, e-pass, all that stuff. So I don't want anything on the windshield. I tried mounting like a little thing like right here and then another one right here. And with the floor to heat, uh, unfortunately, any adhesive that you put on the dash ends up melting. And then whenever you put the phone into that mount, like the weight of it basically pulls it and separates it from the surface. Now I know they do offer a ton of stuff that you can like clip into your air vents and stuff like that. But once again, Florida heat, <laughs> I kind of need my air vents, you know, it's like, it gets crazy hot here. It being Florida summer right now, heat index of like 110 the other day. It's 110 degrees Fahrenheit. And then obviously in a black truck, it gets even, uh, even hotter. So adhesives won't work. Uh, I don't want to block the vents. So I basically went with this one. They call it a DMM. Like I said, the dash top multi-mount. And what it does is it fills this little channel right here. I'm going to be removing this whole front piece here, which I'll be showing. And um, we're going to be mounting that piece right here. And then uh, what happens is you've got these ram mount, uh, like the, the balls, and you're able to mount something like this onto it so that you can uh, hold various applications. You can use it to hold a phone. I've seen people use them to hold tablets. Uh, so it's it's a little more modular and uh, you can use it for multi-purpose. You know, maybe I'll be able to like mount my CB up here or something like that. Who knows? That's for uh, those group group meetups where they're, where they're on CB radio. Anyways, go ahead and roll the intro and then uh, we'll get started. I'll uh, get to installing this thing. Alright, so first things first, installing the DMM. You're going to want to remove this uh, this trim piece because we're going to want to mount it basically in here. I'll show you guys the parts here in just a second. Removing this piece, really easy. You're just going to kind of grab behind it. You pull forward and it's just got friction fasteners to hold it into place, right? So that's it. Crazy easy, right? And then that's <laughs> basically the setup without it. Good little, good little cubby hole to like, you know, hide some stuff. Oh, not that I would. I don't, I don't know why anybody would want to do that. But all right, so let's go ahead and we'll take this piece and continue in the garage. All right, in the garage, and uh, got the package here from Taco Garage. So this is the DMM. It's actually not. Too complicated it's actually a pretty clever easy solution let's go ahead and unpack all this so this is it this is basically the uh, piece that fills in that top gap and then you've got these segments which are threaded the threaded pieces there and like you can see this one matches up there and then there's like little spots in between so yeah it goes like that right in there so this this piece bam fits nicely into there and then those pieces go on the other side. We're gonna drill them out, basically drill holes, pull it all together with the hardware here. And then we've got the ball mounts that uh, will go into here. So let's um, get to lining these up, get to wrenching or drilling. Thank you. 
All right, so now that we've got those in there, this should be pretty much stable set up. I'm gonna clamp it probably like here again, just so we don't have any movement, you know, on, on this side. But uh, yeah, pretty much just drill out all of the holes. And then whenever you're done, so I can use this as, as an example. Yeah, that's pretty much how it'll be. And I'll be able to mount that uh, RAM extension to that. And uh, that's the mount. Hard mounted. And you've got, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, five other, five other mounting options. So you can mount various other things on that same system. You want to make sure you put it in with the uh, this these pieces facing downwards, right? So that it sets flush against here. It is bowed out a little bit, but then whenever you put the bolts in and stuff, it straightens it out, like right here. There we go, we got it all installed. Pretty easy stuff. I mean, the holes pretty much all line up as soon as you've got those first couple ones drilled, throw some bolts in, and then uh, tighten up the end, throw some throw some bolts in, and then everything all, else all pretty much lines up. So yeah, you've got one, two, three, four, five, six mounting points, is that right? One, two, three, four, five, six, yeah. So six mounting points and then all the little pieces in between. And these, these bolts are cool because they're like, they set flush and uh, they're like self-gripping, so then as you're tightening them down, it's like they don't they don't rotate, which is pretty cool. I think they've got like kind of a rubber coating on them, so as you're basically tightening them down, they grip into the recessed piece there. That's pretty much it. So we're gonna go ahead and go back to the truck and mount this thing back up and see how it holds the phone. All right, back in the truck. Got this all done up, so I'm just gonna line everything back up and put it back on. All right, there we go. And you've got those two little funny looking things up there, but that's whenever this comes into play. So you've got basically the uh, actual like ram mount piece, right? So it goes around that ball. And then I've just picked up this uh, cell phone holder that has the ball end off of Amazon. Oh yeah, side note, I will link everything I'm using here down in the description below if you guys are interested in scooping anything up. So there you go and that's pretty cool because you've got basically like full customization, full articulation. So like if you want it mounted up higher you can basically go up like that and then pull this downwards or if you want it like closer to you which I'll probably have basically go like that and then I don't want it facing straight out when you're driving you kind of want it facing you so I'll probably have it like that right and then this on the right side since you know right-handed tighten it down phone there you go have it that way or loosen it up a little bit put it that way instead so that way like I said you're not blocking your vents and it's actually like out of the way you don't have anything mounted to your window, which is getting in the way. Like even this, I mean, it's not obstructing my view at all. You know, if I'm sitting here driving, that's basically in the view of the hood. So I've got full view of uh, everything that I normally would. That's awesome. I like it. And I mounted this one over here for Miss Blockhead in case she wants to, you know, mount her phone up while we're uh, driving or whatever. 
Yep, that's it. Tacoma tip video, I guess, on uh, phone mount options. Pretty cool. This mount, though, I'm gonna have to figure something out for this thing, because it is, like this piece, it is damn tight. Like, it really holds the phone. You can't just, like, easily pop it in and out. Anyways, if you guys have any questions, be sure to drop them down in the comments below. Like I said, I will link everything down in the description below as well, so if you guys are interested in scooping up any of these parts. But uh, super clean, though. I like it. And then the modularity of it, the ability to add, like, more mounting spots, and the fact that it's, like, nice and flush. Like, you can't see it unless there's something on it which is cool. Anyways, if you guys like the video, be sure to hit that like button. If you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell icon also so it sends you notifications of future uploads and activity. Be part of that bell, yeah, squad. Till next time, you guys drive safe, stay vigilant. Catch you guys in the next one. Deuces.